it's your boy Ozzy here, and I am feeling a little bit better. We're going to power through this video. Uh, my throat doesn't hurt. Uh, I think I sound a little bit better. I'll let you guys judge that one. But today, we're picking back up with the NFL picks for week four of the 2017 season. And depending on if this is uploaded tonight or in the morning, um, the Green Bay Bear game might already been decided. But I am picking Green Bay in that game. Um, unless Chicago really upsets them, I won't be surprised by anything. Uh, so we're kind of skipping over that pick. I didn't get the video uploaded in time. Most likely, um, we're having some Wi-Fi problems here. So probably won't be uploaded, but I am taking Green Bay. Um, so let's start heading on to Sunday's games. Um, I don't know which one of these games is the, uh, what is it, the uh, England game or whatever. And these aren't in any particular order. Uh, I just copied them off from uh, ESPN, wrote them down. I'll give you my picks and a little bit of an analytics too. So go ahead and comment down below uh, what you think of the picks, who you think is going to be the upset of the week. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's hop right into it. <clears throat> All right. First game on the list, we got New Orleans at Miami, um, which I don't know which games. The only one I know that's for sure uh, that's not in uh, – England is Detroit and Minnesota. So these might be in England, and that might affect the pick. Uh, just let me know in the comments which ones it is. But anyway, New Orleans at Miami. I am picking New Orleans. Uh, Miami is a little bit shrieky. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they'll beat New Orleans, Drew, Drew Brees. Especially if this is in Miami and not the England game. Drew Brees will tear it up. Uh, the pass rush, though, from Miami might be a little bit too much for the offensive line for the Saints. It might make it interesting. It's probably be a close nail biter game, but I'm not betting against Drew Brees. Uh, Buffalo at Atlanta. That's a pretty, uh, pretty solid pick with Atlanta. Uh, got lucky against the Lions last week. Uh, they have they have some serious problems of holding a lead. Uh, the Super Bowl wasn't wasn't just because New England was good. Atlanta they got some problems once they get ahead. Uh, I don't know if they get too comfortable with the lead and then they don't get hungry anymore, but something's seriously wrong where when they get a lead, they just let it slip. So watch out for that for the rest of the year. Uh, Pittsburgh at Baltimore. I'm going Pittsburgh. Joe Flacco is not a great quarterback. They don't really have a good offense. Their defense is the only thing in, in Baltimore that's good, and they got ate up by Jacksonville last week. Uh, Cincinnati at Cleveland, the Battle of Ohio. Uh, both these teams look terrible this year. Uh, I I like Cleveland better this year than Cincinnati, but I'm going to pick Cincinnati over Cleveland. Uh, they just were so close to beating Green Bay last week. I think they're going to take that momentum into this and uh, pull out a W. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams versus the Cowboys in Dallas. Uh, that's going to probably be a closer game than most people would think. Um... Dallas got a good win against Arizona, but even then they had to come back from behind to win. And Arizona hasn't looked that great this year yet, especially without David Johnson. <laughs> um, I think the Rams can really make a name for themselves this week playing Dallas. This is probably going to be America's game of the week most likely, or uh, at least one of the stations uh, all across the nation. But um, I'm picking Dallas. I won't. I really like the Rams this year. Um, I really think they have a legitimate case to win their division and beat Seattle. Uh, I'm not counting the Rams out. I really hate betting against them. Only reason I'm picking them is because they're in Dallas. Um, it's kind of sad. No one wants to go see a Rams game in L.A., but they already moved it. That's that's a different topic for a different time. Uh, Tennessee at Houston. This is going to be another close game. I really like Tennessee this year. Uh, Houston, they've been really – inconsistent um they really played well against new england almost got that w but unfortunately they didn't let tom brady get too much time throw throw a beauty of a pass and a beauty of a catch to cooks for the game winner uh man this is, this is probably one th i'm thinking houston just because houston's home uh if it's in tennessee I, i'd give it to tennessee uh we got carolina at new england new england's gonna win that no problem uh, Cam doesn't look right yet. Uh, I don't know how serious that surgery was on his shoulder or anything, but it looks 
he doesn't look quite the form yet. Uh, the only thing they got going for them is McCaffrey. Uh, they just lost Will, uh, uh, no, Olsen. Uh, he's going to be out for a little bit. So that's that's going to hurt 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 the passing game. That That's Cam's boy and his easy target. So expect, expect someone else to step up. Uh, but against New England, it's going to look rough. Uh, we got Jacksonville at the Jets. Uh, I'm picking Jacksonville. Uh, I think Jacksonville actually, uh, they're a little bit better than people think. Are they going to make the playoffs? Probably not. But uh, they're a hungry team. They're young. Uh, Blake Bortles is surprisingly playing better, uh, which he couldn't really play a whole lot worse than he did last year. But they're making a little bit of noise. Uh, they're playing good. Their defense is looking really good. Uh, if I was a Jacksonville fan, I'd be excited for the future. I won't be much longer, and they'll be back in the contention uh, playoff and division-wise. So look out for them. Uh, San Francisco at Arizona. Arizona should get the first win of the year. Or wait, no, they already had a win, don't they? Yeah. So Arizona should pick up the second one of the year. Um, although San Francisco could be surprising, and uh, I, that Thursday night game against the Rams that came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that at all. But I don't. I don't think they'll be anywhere near that, especially against this Cardinals defense. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm still a little sick. Angel, stop. All right. Next game, we got Philly at the Chargers. I keep wanting to call them San Diego, and that's not happening. Uh, I'm going to take Philly. I don't think uh, the Chargers are really – I think they're overrated even being at 0-3. Um, they just got some missing pieces. They got they got Melvin Gordon, and that's a good little running back there they got. But rather than that, I don't see them making a whole lot of more noise than that. He's all they got. Um, so – Philly, uh, they have legit case to make their division um, great again. I see them pitch out of Trump's book, but uh, they are uh, they're a contender to win their division, even beating Dallas. Uh, I think Philly might actually win the division now. I actually, I picked the Giants at the beginning of the year. Uh, whoops, that was a mistake. Uh, so that leads us in the next game: Giants versus Tampa. Tampa Bay should bounce back from the Minnesota loss and put it on the Giants. And the Giants, uh, they're going to have a real rough season. Um, I I personally thought they would be the team in the in their division, beat Dallas. But I was wrong. I was wrong. They look terrible. <laughs> Even with Odell back, they still look terrible. Uh, Oakland at Denver. This is another tough pick I had making. Um, I, I, uh, I think Denver... He doesn't go undefeated at home this year. So with it being at Denver, I'm actually going with Denver. But they look totally different than uh, Dallas uh, when they played Dallas in Denver. And then uh, who they play last week? Was it the Jets? No, it was Buffalo. It was Buffalo. And uh, they didn't look nearly as good offensively. Uh, so if they play in Denver, I'm always going to pick Denver just because it's the mile high. Their offense always looks better at home. Uh, their defense pretty much plays the same, but they, even they play better at home. So they, I think they're probably the best home team in the NFL today. And then the Sunday night game, we got Indy at Seattle. Seattle should put it on. Um, I think Lux do back, was it, week six? So, Andy fans are going to have to hang on a little bit longer. Um, I feel sorry for you guys. I don't. I almost put, picked Luck in fantasy, but I went with my boy Stafford. He's the safe pick. Uh, and then the Monday night game, we got Washington and Kansas City. I'm going Kansas City. Uh, Washington, I think, pulled up an upset over Oakland. I don't know... What what's clicking with Washington all of a sudden? For, at the beginning of the year, they looked god awful. Now they're starting to click together. Um, but uh, I, th I think the injury bug's going around there. Uh, so watch out for that. I'm not trying to jinx anybody, but be careful. Um, Jordan Reed, he's hurt. Uh, that's a big target for him. And uh, that's pretty that's pretty much it. Uh, Terrell Pryor, he's okay. Um, freaking. Um, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna stop Hunt, man. That guy came out of nowhere. He's a beast, man. I thought, I thought when he fumbled the ball against New England, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be a rough, rough season for him. I was wrong again. This guy's a monster. 
So I, I just think with him alone, Kansas City's legit. They got a good enough defense. They can just run and bound it. Perfect for Alex Smith and Andy Reid. So those are my picks. Um, go ahead and feel free to alter them in the, in the comments down below. Yeah, I already did my plug-in. So go ahead. See you later in the next video. Bye.